And happy 4th of July from all of us here at Channel 3 Eyewitness News. I'm Patricia Del Rio. Celebrations across the state had to be canceled over the past couple of days, but one local town decided the show must go on. Waterbury's July 4th event went off without a hitch. Canceling events like these can be very costly. And Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera looks at just how much vendors could have lost if this event didn't happen. Brass Mill Center's parking lot turned into food truck heaven. For many, the food truck and fireworks extravaganza was the only Independence Day event they went to all weekend. We tried to do Shakespeare on the sound, and that got rained out. Yeah, so we were, we were determined to do something. But no matter how good the food was, everyone couldn't wait for the fireworks. We're going to see the fireworks with our auntie. For nearly half an hour, fireworks were launched from Holy Land, one of the few shows that didn't get canceled this weekend. It was too sad. <laughs> you were sad. It was, yeah. The weather was sad, wasn't it? Yeah, we couldn't see all the beautiful colors. Now, no one was more excited for today's event than the food trucks and vendors. Even if today's event was just postponed, the losses could be in the tens of thousands of dollars. I wanted to cry. Um. <laughs> that was Jillian Perez's first reaction to the weekend's forecast. She helped put the extravaganza together. She also owns some of the food trucks here. She says many can't make up a lost event because of scheduling. And a lot of the trucks that are here are already booked for the rest of the summer, so God forbid they postponed uh, this event to next week, they wouldn't be able to come. There's little wiggle room financially, which is why she's grateful the event went on as planned. With COVID over the past year, these trucks are depending on that. The food truck and fireworks extravaganza is a collaboration between Connecticut Specialty Events, Brass Mill Center Mall, and the city. In Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.